Hello and welcome back to another easy online German pronunciation training. And I am still continuing with the introduction of the German vowels. And today I'm going to talk about the vowel E. And we have a long and a short E sound in the German language. And as you can see, we also have two signs in the phonetic script for these two sounds. And I also have prepared some examples and this time we will start with a long E sound. And the first word is the German word for cinema. And in German we say Kino. Kino. So in the phonetic script you see that we have a long E sound because we have an E letter or I in German we say E combined with a double point and the double point is the sign in the phonetic script which always makes the vowels long. And we have a normal O, a German O. And the stress is on the first syllable because we have a little tick in front of the first syllable, in front of the K. And so we say Kino. We don't have double I like uh, we have double A or double E. We don't have that in the German language. The only thing we have, we have a diphthong, the German E, E, or we write I and E, and this is the long E sound, like in the word Sieben, and this is the German translation for the number seven. So in the phonetic script you see the long E sound and moreover we have an unstressed E, an E sound in the last syllable. So this is the sign which looks like an E turned upside down. And we have a soft S at the beginning, sieben. And therefore we have a Z in the phonetic script to express this soft S sound. And when we have an S in German words at the beginning, this is always spoken like a soft S. Moreover, we have the stress on the first syllable again. As you can see, we have a little tick in front of the first syllable. And besides this, EE -E is a diphthong and normally this is another topic but I'm just giving this example because we do not have double I but for that we have EE -E or I and E as a German diphthong. Then we can have an I in combination with an H and this is also a long E sound. For example, in the word for him and this is EIN. EIN. So you can see the long E sound in the phonetic script an I letter with a double point and this is actually the accusative case of this personal pronoun not the dative case so you would say ich liebe ihn I love him but if you want to say I help him you say ich helfe ihm but this is also another topic. 
and you can find more about that on my website if you look at the grammar part and there are special sites about the personal pronouns and the several cases. So the long E sound is very intensive, I'd say, at least in the German language. And about the tongue position, you can say that the tongue is very close to the roof of your mouth. If you say E and your lips are spread, of course, they're not rounded. And moreover, the tongue is very close to your lower front teeth. E. I think you can see that when I produce the long E sound. And now we get to another E sound which is very short and the tongue is not as close to the roof of your mouth and it's not as close to your lower front teeth either. So I have an example which is the word for I and in German this is ich. Ich. So you see the difference between E and I and generally you can say that you have a short E sound when more than one consonant follow the I letter or E vowel. In the phonetic script you also see we have a special sign for the short E and in this word we also have a soft CH sound and if you still have problems with this sound you can watch my video about the soft CH training or you can try to whisper the word yes this is very easy I think To learn the soft CH, but you have to give it a try. And I also have another example, and this is the German word for child, and in German it is Kind. Kind. And you see the sign for the short E sound again. The D is spoken like a T because it is at the end of this word. And I hope that you know the difference between E and I, like in Ich, Kind, or In. And this was all for today, so I hope this video is useful for you and if so please leave a comment or subscribe to my channel and for today I say bye bye or as we say in German Tschüss